morning, FSPA. Today is April 14th. I'm Lexi Vorndran. And I'm Maddie Coulter. And welcome to a special edition of WCTZ News. On today's episode, we will explore what makes the West Shore community great. That's right, Lexi. In this episode, we plan to take a look at how the academic rigor of West Shore has pushed our students to accelerate in their academic careers. And later, an examination of the reasons behind our strong sense of community here at the Shore. All in this episode of WCTZ News. Student spirit. Comfort. Teachers and staff. Academics. Well touch hours. Homework. Inclusive. Friends. Family. Sports. Community. We are West Shore. West Shore is known across the state for its outstanding academics. It is ranked as the third best school in Florida and 58th in the nation, according to the U.S. News and World Report. A West Shore education prepares students for college and helps them earn scholarships. Here's Diego Alvarez with the story. In the pursuit of National Merit Finalists, each year's juniors from all over the nation battled out to obtain a PSAT score within the top 1% of their nation. And out of the 15,000 National Merit Finalists, West Shore is home to six. So I haven't been at West Shore all my middle school and high school life, so I went to Edgewood before, and West Shore has definitely been a step up from that in regard to the workload. But AP teachers are really supportive, and they help me get where I need to be. So even if I'm struggling, I know I can always go to them. I had six APs last year, and one of them I took online, and I feel like I've developed techniques for management of workload, especially within the courses that I've taken. Scholarship opportunities like National American can help graduating students from breaking the bank. I haven't 100% decided yet. As a National Merit finalist, I do have multiple colleges that I could go to for completely free, with the, but I feel like with the education I've had in high school, no matter where I go, I'll be able to manage and be in a good environment in any of the options that I choose. UF is also giving me Bright Futures and the Benacquisto Scholarship which comes with the national merit, and then that'll give me essentially a full ride to UF. It was really gratifying just to see that my work paid off in school. With the rigorous students in Dora West Shore, the lines dividing studying for your class and studying for the PSAT are blurred. For WCTC News, this has been Diego Alvarez reporting. Thanks, Diego. In addition to academics, our school highly values a supportive environment. West Shore has around 150 students in each grade, allowing for a more cohesive class culture. Prospective students must enter a lottery system to become one of the newly admitted Wildcats. However, there is a sibling preference when it comes to admissions. Here's Jesse Bratman with the story. Ever since the first Murphy touched foot on school grounds in 2005, this family dynasty has had a lasting academic and athletic impact on campus. All my siblings have gone to West Shore. Most of them were very successful. So there's a lot of pressure to try to outcompete. We're trying to make a legacy for ourselves. Out of the 150 kids admitted through the lottery, about 20% of them are siblings. Sibling preference guarantees acceptance into West Shore as long as students meet the testing requirements. You know, it's tough to get in the first place, and it makes it a lot easier on the parents because they can bring everybody to the same place. It's hard enough as is because we don't have bosses. Because of sibling preference, all seven Murphys were able to play sports at West Shore. In a sports team, if you can get a Murphy, take them. I mean, they, they'll run through a wall. They, they just don't want to lose. Abe, he was the man of the match for the State Cup game for our school, and they won that game. Noah, the strongest kid ever that's been here. He was 145, and he was benching like 250. Bernadette was known for swimming. Both Kira and Bridget, which are my two oldest siblings, they were good at uh, women's soccer. The Murphy family has always supported the school. My parents think this school's great because, I mean, they've sent all seven of us here. So to send all seven of your kids to the same school, you have to have some sort of good idea of what the school stands for. You know, I'm a big person. I'm like representing your family name, and they do a great job of it. Family dynasties that display excellence within our small, close-knit community, that is what makes West Shore great. This has been Jesse Bratman for WCTZ News reporting. It's great to have siblings on campus. I can't wait for my little brother to be here next year. I agree, Lexi. Up next, we have Tenley Paul with a story on how the greatness of West Shore has kept alumni wanting more. 
For two teachers, West Shore's tight-knit community has drawn them back to their alma mater. What aspects of West Shore maybe want to come back? The community that I had are still here, that I was like close with. Familiarity with like the area, like knowing it so well, that's like the, I would say one of the biggest things. As a student, it's one thing, you're getting pushed, 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 pushed to be like the best student you possibly can be for your college, you know, applications and stuff. Now as a teacher, that's like a really interesting, intriguing way of approaching teaching where it's not just about getting the kids through the day, but actually hopefully, hopefully helping them become better students and one day become, you know, great people. When it comes to two teachers, the apple does not fall far from the tree. I came back because West Shore is a family, especially since everyone is here for six years. The kids are really close. The faculty gets close with the students, so it's a really special place. I love being able to work not only where I graduated and being able to see all the teachers that I had, but working with my mom makes it even more special, especially when I can just stop by whenever I want, say hello, give her a hug, see how she's doing during the day. I became associated with West Shore as a parent when Melanie came here as a student, but then now having her back here teaching leaves such a warm, happy feeling in my heart, mainly because she feels that she has a definite connecting with the students. Keeping it in the Wildcat family, this has been Tenley Paul for FSPA. Thank you, Tenley. That's all for today's special episode. Make sure to check out our Instagram at wctz.news and westshoreroar.com to follow our journey at FSPA 2022. Once again, I'm Maddie Coulter. And I'm Lexi Bourdrian. Have a great day and see you at convention.